Edison Trey, my best mate, my best mate, Edison Trey. Oh my god! Oh my god! How can I do that? How can I sleep, sleep with my best friend last night? What should I do? What should I do? What should you do? What will you do if you were me? I have to admit that I was a little bit drunk and a little bit tired yesterday. <laughs> but, but, hey guys, why do you look at me like that? I'm just talking. I have been praying <coughs> Angry Bird in iPhone for the whole night. And yes, this is my best friend, iPhone. <laughs> what do you guys think of? You guys are so sick. <laughs> so, ever since the arrival of iPhone, my life, oh, actually my parents' life, has changed quite a lot. Um, when it was during dinner time, we used to see, we both used to watch television, right? So, they normally see my television face. Normally, it is around like 45 degree tilting left because this is where my television is. And now, and, and some of the time, my parents will be so annoyed because they want their son to talk to them, to share about the tiny bit of work or the anxiety of work with them. But, oh, come on. You, are so, you, are, you guys are too old for me to tell you this story, and you guys probably don't understand that. So I just keep facing television, and some of the time they will get mad, and they will start their remote control fight. So personally, I prefer laughing go rather than the <laughs> Korean show, but they just prefer the, the, the king, the emperor story in Korea. So we start the fight. Okay. So now I have my iPhone. Instead of seeing my television face, you can only see my forehead. Now I will just tilt my head down and watch. Okay, okay. And I'll have my earpiece on to secure my little secret personalized song. Well, so they have, they have <coughs> nothing to do. They can do nothing for that because it's so private and I can even deploy this little private area in MTR or even in Mount Kok. Well, wow, that's great. Well, talking about forehead, one of my friends in Xinjiang actually told me a little bit a, a, a story about uh, there are many ghosts in Hong Kong. Well, I mean ghosts in Hong Kong well, come on, the ghost festival, the Chinese ghost festival has passed. So, and say, she said, Edison, no, no, it is not about the Chinese ghost festival. It is everywhere in Hong Kong. Hong Kong have many ghosts. You see all the girls with long hair, and you have green eyes shining on her face. You say, what? You mean, you mean ghost? You mean Guai Lo, actually, right? <laughs> I know you come from Xinjiang, most probably a lot no, but. Well, but actually, she said, no, Edison, it's not about Guai Lo. I saw many Guai Lo in Xinjiang also, because there are so many visitors there. And then she said, when you go to some dark area in Hong Kong, you will see, for example, you go barbecue or you go uh, squid fishing, you will see all the girls playing their iPhone like this. And then you see all the light coming out, <laughs> the long hair. Then it's just like the show, the movie show in Jing Ji. And yeah, so they're going out and say, hey, come. Well, I said, okay, come on. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not going to scare by that, okay. Well, another thing about iPhone is actually iPhone um, changed our life quite a lot. Uh, for example, our work life. Uh, in the past, we used to live in the world of 2G, where we have this little crappy phone, this toy phone, and we can only stay connected with phone call or even MSN. Well, some of the time your boss will hesitate to SMS you at night, not because they are nice, just because each SMS will cost them 15 cents. But now, with iPhones, 
I can even know when my boss has insomnia. Well, actually, I check a pattern, the working pattern of my boss. Well, you can see for him, uh, you can actually see from him that 9 to 5 is not so 9 to 5 is not so fine. 9 to 8 is time to eat. 8 to 3 is not so free. So after 3 is the perfect moment for WhatsApp, for email, and for handling works. So I will normally got a lot of nighttime BB call from my boss. Well, another thing for iPhone is that uh, it, cha it really changed the scene for dating. Well, for example, I met a young lady in her Facebook. Actually, she is a young model. The way I know her is through a long train of things. I first I Google her Facebook, and I see a f I see her Facebook have a YouTube link that linked to her own Facebook profile. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got messed up. I, I should say. I Google her, uh, I Google her, and I saw a YouTube link, and the YouTube link actually be direct to her Facebook account. Okay, so then we <coughs> connect in Facebook. Okay, after a couple of chat and message exchange, we went out for date, and the small talks was fine, and after that, I just saw her kissing her iPhone. I said, why? And I saw Billy Drew, Billy, in the iPhone. I said, hey, do you know Billy? He is a cute guy in Toastmastering. I said, huh, what? What is that? Why do you have Billy here? Do you know FaceTime? We can talk by FaceTime. And so the dinner ended up with me, her, and Billy talking about Toastmastering. So that's why today I'm here and I'm practicing. And one day I'll get her again. So, and thank you, thank you all. Thank you.